Y'all ready? I hope you are. It's time to get real restoration, elevation, affirmation, liberation. I want to be Good morning, good Sunday morning to you. You are tuned into Real Praise with Leisha. That's me, and we are getting real this morning. Restored, elevated, affirmed, and liberated as we get ready to receive everything God has in store for us today. So I've got just one question for you. Are you ready to be real? Oh, I hope you are. We've got great music, great inspiration, the church check-in, and so much to talk about today. But you know what? I want to get our day start off a little crunk this morning. Now, yeah, I was a little tired. I stopped at my usual stop and got my coffee, and it's just starting to kick in. And so I feel like we need to just kick start this day today with J.J. Harrison featuring Philip Bryan and Pocket of Hope with you, our Lord of all, right here on Praise 107.9. This my song, y'all. If you ain't know what song is my song, this it right, y'all. <laughs> JJ Harrison featuring Philip Bryan and Pocket of Hope. You are Lord of all. Yes, indeed. Because he is Lord of all. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, guys. Let me program this real quick because stuff want to act stupid. Not stupid. That's that's poor terminology. I apologize. It's a great morning to give God a great play, praise, and that's what we're doing on today. We are. Welcome to Real Praise with Leisha Behind the Scenes, where you get a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, but it's all good. It's all praise. It's all real praise, because we're here to get restored, elevated, affirmed, and liberated as we get ready to receive everything God has in store for us. And he's got great and amazing things in store for you and for me today. You know that, right? You do know that God has great and amazing things in store for you. I hope you know that. Listen, my caption today on uh, Facebook was, there's no God like Jehovah. And what we're going to do today is give our Jehovah God a real praise. Are you ready? And I just need to know the answer to that question. Are you ready to give God a real praise today? You know why? Because he's worthy of it. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. He is worthy of the praise. He woke you up this morning. If you are watching, he woke you up this morning. He woke you up this morning, gave you a new day with new mercies. He gave you a reasonable measure of health. You might feel a little pain. Listen, y'all, I am painting in my body right now. Friday afternoon, I was walking up the sidewalk and fell. And it was not one of those like trip, trip, fall. It was like splat fall. And, um, you know. Not as young as I used to be, but God woke me up this morning and it is another opportunity to give him praise. Amen. <laughs> so I just want to encourage you to do the same. Give God praise today. Give him glory. Give him honor. Speak it out of your mouth. Declare it. Listen, the song playing right now is J.J. Harrison, um, You Are Lord of All. And it says, um, with every breath that I breathe, I will praise him. With every song that I sing, I will praise him. You are my God and my king. There is no one greater. <laughs> For you are Lord of all. 
So I just need you to declare that with me. If you're ready, I asked, are you ready? If you're ready, then right now, wherever you are, give God praise, give him glory. Because he is Lord of all and we owe it to him. We owe him the glory. We owe him the honor. We owe him the praise this morning. With every breath that I breathe, God, I will praise you. If <laughs> if you're breathing right now, and uh, you are, <laughs> just think about your next breath. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Listen, today is the day to give him praise. Why? Because it's a new day with new mercies. And so we're going to give it to him. Good morning, Joanne. Uh, yes, you're ready. Give him glory. Give him praise because he is Lord of all. He is worthy of it today. He is worthy of it today. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to God for this new day. I know it's early and I didn't mean to go in this early in the morning. Good morning, Miss Anita. <laughs> Blessings to you as well. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, I didn't even know it was going to go this way. I was just really excited. You know, been, I've been in the studio for, for a little bit, uh, came in a little bit earlier today and, you know, just kind of set my atmosphere. Wouldn't feel any kind of way. Didn't need to, you know, charge or cast anything or whatever i just felt like i needed an extra charge this morning i was tired a lot has happened over the last weekend and i'm grateful for it and we're going to talk about it in a little bit um because god is really amazing he's really doing some um amazing things uh, uh, before I go into what happened yesterday. So uh, you, like I said before, you're watching real praise behind the scenes. Uh, find out what happens in the studio and it's usually just me doing a lot of this. Uh, <laughs> but if you'd like to listen to the show in its entirety with music and everything, if you're in Jacksonville surrounding areas, you can tune to Praise 17.9 on your dial. Or if you'd like to listen online, wherever you are, you can go to the website, praise1079.com, or you can download the Praise 107.9 app by looking for the little liturgical purple and gold dancer. Um, during the show, we do church check-in, we take song requests, um, and we pray. So if you need any of those things, <laughs> if you want to shout out your uh, church and pastor, or you want to request a song, or you stand in the need of prayer, or sit, stand or sit in need of prayer. <laughs> you can type it in the comments or you can uh, send me a um, DM. Um, you know, we'll try to get those songs on. Make sure you get your request out and definitely pray with and for you. So yesterday I had the amazing opportunity to partner with um, my friend, uh, Danette Inyang, and as she presented Refresh, the Vocal Masterclass Workshop, and it was amazing. Not only was the content that she had, now Danette has so much experience in, um, in the area of vocal coaching, whether you're a singer or a speaker, how to protect your voice from the inside out. Um, just the, the wealth of knowledge that she uh, was able to get out in, in that short amount of time. And I know there was so much more. But um, just watching her be excellent at her craft um, in, in the thing that God has given her in this season, stepping out on faith and doing um, this workshop, you know, the first one she's done on her own. And it was just so amazing to see that. But then also how the uh, participants in the workshop poured back into her. Uh, it was it was amazing. It was amazing just to see how um, excited they were about the things that they were learning, right? They were excited to learn about how to protect their voice. The room, I, most of the room was singers. Um, 
but just the information she was sharing and you know how you get something like, oh, wow. There was a lot of, oh, wow moments, you know, in, in the workshop. And then there were a lot of, oh, wow moments um, that was from the participants, but then also, oh, wow moments from the facilitator, Danette, as, um, you know, the, the participants were pouring back into her and um, supporting uh, what God had given her and, and making sure that um, Danette knew how important what she was doing um, was. And, and it was so great for me to see that as um, not only as her friend, but as someone who's gone through that in, in presenting something that God gave you. Because um, I know I get scared every time I do a real anything. Even this, even doing this on Sunday mornings, it's it's a scary thing because you just don't know. You don't know how people are going to take it. You know, you're sharing what God has given you. And I promise you, most Sundays, I might have a thing I want to say, but a lot of times God shifts that thing. And um, I ain't mad about it. It's just, you know, it's kind of scary sometimes. But beyond all of that, knowing that you're doing what God has called you to do, walking that thing out, even if you're scared, and and just watching God work in that way is so amazing. So I'm I, I'm so proud of my friend Danette. Um, hang on, y'all programming. Okay. Um. I'm just so proud of her for doing that and so grateful that God used her in that way to um, share from her expertise and how the participants received it and are excited about bringing her back. Danette lives uh, in Miami and, um, you know, came up to present this uh, to, uh, you know, folks who were looking for vocal coaching and training um and just so grateful just so grateful to God for her and allowing her to walk this thing out and so uh, it's just it's so encouraging when you walk things out even when you're scared to do it And there are some things that God has called us to do, right? There are some things that he has given us that um, sometimes we get in the way of that. Whether we're scared or we're like, how can we do this? That's so big. That's bigger than even I can understand. You know, you know, Lord, thank you for giving it to me. Um, you might want to give it to somebody else who might actually do it. Maybe I'm the only one who's ever had that conversation with God. Um just some things that I'm like, ah, really? Um, <laughs> but God is so amazing. It absolutely is faith. It is faith. Um, you know, just walking out the thing that God has called you to do. And there are things that God has called you to do. There are things that God has placed in your heart He's even given you the resources to make it happen. And he's given you the plan. My encouragement to you this morning is to walk that thing out. Go back to what God gave you. Go back to the plan he gave you for that thing that you know you're supposed to be doing in this season. Don't deviate, don't misstep. And listen, I've done all the deviations and the missteps and the backpedals and all of the things, but <laughs> I find peace when I'm actually doing it, even when I'm scared. So my encouragement to you is to go back to that thing that God gave you. Go back to the plan he gave you. It's not going to look like what you thought it would look like. What it is going to look like is what God gave you. We like to interject our things into God's plan. 
And God likes to show me the end, not the steps in the middle. And them steps in the middle are a beast. But <laughs> when he does a thing, he does it well. He does it well. And he uses me to make it well. So, go back to his plan. Do that thing scared. Doesn't matter how you're feeling, what you're thinking. Listen, I might be preaching to my own choir at this point. Oh, hold on, y'all. <laughs> how about I gotta go live uh, in just a moment here? <laughs> Un momento, por favor. <laughs> okay. You better bless him. <laughs> the Canton Spirituals right there with hallelujah. Anyhow, listen, we're going to give God a hallelujah anyhow. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Give God praise anyhow. That was my encouragement starting off this morning um, on Facebook and Instagram. I'm live right now, y'all. Join me online. Look for Real Praise with Leisha. Join the conversation. Um, listen, we're talking about uh, walking out God's promises in our lives. I was uh, mentioning yesterday, uh, mentioning about how yesterday I watched um, one of my really good friends walk out uh, what God has given her in this season. And it was an amazing thing to see. And so, you know what? Join me on social media. Find out the rest of the conversation because it's really awesome. It really is. It's really awesome um, to watch how people are walking out their purpose on purpose. Amen. Amen. So come on in the room, <laughs> Facebook or Instagram, type in Real Praise with Leisha and join the conversation. And we're going to get back to the music in just a minute right here on the Ultimate Gospel Experience. Praise 107.9. All right. So, you know, I did that little teaser. So maybe they come on in the room. Amen. Hallelujah. Anyhow. Um. But my encouragement to you, as I mentioned before, is to walk that thing out. Whatever God has given you, whatever he has um, placed in your lap, whatever he has shown you, just know that he has given you everything that you need. There are resources waiting on you to walk in this thing. There are people waiting to help you as you walk out this thing. There are um, opportunities available for you to share your gift in this place. So step out on faith. Step out scared. And watch God work. I'm not going to cry today. I'm going to stop before I cry and drink my coffee. Amen. So, <laughs> that is what I have for you today. Uh, I'm believing God for some big and amazing things. I don't always remember that God gave me big things to accomplish. And so, really, yesterday was a reminder for me <sighs> to do some things, to get some things in order, to be scared and share real and the real you. I've done all the, the legwork to make sure that the business is straight, to make sure that I'm trademarked for, um, you know, things and, and do all of these. Oh, yeah, I'm set. But uh, when was the last time I shared anything on the real you page? When was the last time I updated my curriculum? When have I shared my curriculum? So listen, <laughs> the things I'm saying to you, <laughs> I'm saying to myself as well. And so I'm not just, you know, listen, y'all keep me accountable as well. I've got to keep sharing um, and, and, and uh, perfect, not even perfecting, just getting it out there, the things that God has shared with me and to help people get real. Hold on. What you, what you saying, Miss Anita? 
He put four women on your heart to start a prayer group. We had a few gatherings and people started not joining weekly. So I suggested bi-weekly, but it just fizzled out. I need prayer on what to do. Keep showing up to Sunita. Keep reaching out, showing up wherever y'all were praying. Um, if it's online or, um, you know, creating a, a Zoom or, or something, you keep showing up. Keep letting them know, hey, I'm going to be on this conference call. Here's the number. And I'm be praying from this time to this time. You show up. You pray. You reach out. Let them know you're still there. Because here's the thing. When God gives you something, not everybody's going to tap in at the same time. Not everybody's going to catch it. Life happens and people always feel some kind of way. But at the end of the day, you know what God showed you, what God told you. He told you to contact these four women and pray. And whether or not they joined into the vision God gave you, you keep showing up because God has something in store for you in that space, in that place of prayer that you all have decided to pray together and they didn't get on the bandwagon. You never know by you just showing up and being there how they jump back on the wagon or how somebody might need the prayer you pray for them on that day. So keep showing up. Keep showing up. Keep praying. Keep doing the thing that God gave you. Keep encouraging. Keep reaching out. Not like pestering, hey, I'm here. Do it. He I'm here. Come on. No. Like, hey, I'm here praying at our scheduled time. Here's the link. Here's the number. You be faithful. You be obedient. Keep doing what God has given you to do. Because he'll show up whether they show up or not. Let me just tell you, that was Jesus for real. I mean, I felt it. Like, <laughs> yes, we got to keep showing up. We have to keep showing up for what God has given us. And and it's not... Don't make it a chore. Don't make it a, oh, I'm tired of doing this. Make it a, God gave me this for a reason. I don't know the reason but God gave me this for a reason. I got to keep doing it. It's hard. It's rough. They're not doing what I thought they should do. It doesn't matter. You keep doing what God gave you. You keep praying. You keep seeking him. You keep praying for those women. And watch him work. I am just under the impression, uh, <laughs> not just from my own experience, but I believe his word says it too, um, that when we do what God says, he'll show up and he will bless that thing because we're doing the thing that he gave us. And I want us all to be blessed. I want us all to win. I want us to thrive, not just survive, not just live, but thrive and, and live in the space of abundance and live in and, and abundance is not just money abundance is abundance of joy abundance of peace abundance of love abundance of everything that god is i believe money is in there too but you know sometimes we talk about abundance and we go to houses and lands and we don't talk about the things that we need on the inside so i just wanted to you know encourage you all the way around holistically <laughs> living in the abundance of God. We do that when we stand in the places that he's given us to stand, the rocks that he's given us, the foundations that he's laid for us to move forward, to go higher, to, to be who he called us to be. When we operate in that space, when we 
follow his leading. It's so much better than when we try to do it alone and do it on our own. I, listen, if I can spare anybody the heart wrenching <laughs> way that I have gone, please listen to me. Listen, listen to God. L listen, listen to him. I'm just, I'm his servant. I'm not just telling you, listen to him, okay? <laughs> listen to him. Do the thing that he said, do. And God will show up. He will. He will show up for you. He'll show up for the people that you're praying for, Miss Anita. He'll show up in your business, Joanne. He'll show up like nobody else can. So let us uh, continue to walk out his way, his, his plan, his, the stuff that he's giving you. Okay. All right. I'm going to step down off the soapbox so I don't cry anymore. <laughs> Let me see. We got one more song. Okay. So, thank you all so much for hanging out with me on oh, Real Praise with Leisha behind the scenes. Like I said before, if you want to listen to the show in its entirety with the music, you can go to 107.9 if you're in Jacksonville and surrounding areas. Or you can download the Praise 107.9 app by looking for the Purple and Gold Liturgical Dancer. You can also go to the website, praise1079.com, and listen live there. Um, we do church check-in and song requests starting in the 8 o'clock hour, so feel free to drop it in the comments or uh, send me a message, and I will definitely try to get those on for you. And, um, okay. Hold on, y'all. Let me make sure this is right. All right. Um, and if you stand or sit in need of prayer, feel free to drop it in the comments if you'd like corporate prayer. Or uh, you can send me a message because I don't want to miss an opportunity to pray with and for you. Prayer is needed and it's necessary. And... God is too amazing for us to not acknowledge him, listen to him, and follow his leading. Because he truly is amazing. He's amazing. The song on right now is Beautiful Savior. There's no one like him. Beautiful Savior. And we have the opportunity to talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. We have the opportunity to go to the throne of grace, lay our burdens at his feet, and leave them there, knowing that he'll take care of it. So whatever is, is happening in your world, whatever is going on, give it to him. And use today to set the tone for your week. Speak God's promises that are yes and amen. He's given you something. So declare that thing. Declare how you feel about him first. Let him know out loud, out of your mouth. Life and death, life and death is in the power of the tongue. And so we're going to speak life. We're going to speak to God and let him know who he is, how we feel about him, how much we love him. And then <laughs> declare his promises that he gave you. Declare the thing that he spoke to you. And charge and change your atmosphere. Lord willing and the creek don't rise. I will see you all again next week. <sighs> I bless God. He's about to do something amazing. He's about to do something ridiculously amazing this week so charge and change your atmosphere right now and set the tone for your week all right amen amen all right bye ig and bye facebook have a great week <laughs>